The content I cover in this episode revolutionized my ability to build my own trading bots. I can't wait to share it with you. Technically, all you need for this episode is the ability to connect to MetaTrader 5 and cancel orders. However, I refer to a lot of content throughout the episode that's been covered in this series I've been going through about building your own MetaTrader 5 Python trading bot. If you'd really like to take full advantage of this particular episode, I highly recommend that you go through the previous episodes on this channel, particularly the ones about building a strategy, placing orders, and understanding how to separate your strategies using the comment line. Whatever it is, when you're ready to continue, let's jump into it. Over three episodes, I'm showing you how to monitor your MetaTrader so that you never miss a trade. The first episode is never miss a candlestick. And this shows you how to monitor MetaTrader so that you catch every single candlestick that relates to your strategy. The second episode is about managing all of your orders and I'll show you how to manage your orders so that you reduce your trading risk. The third episode is an advanced way to man manage all of your orders so that you're able to trade multiple strategies on the same MetaTrader 5 account. When we talk about managing orders on MetaTrader 5, there's a couple of different functions that we're going to need to build in order to do so. The first one is the ability to cancel an order. So head back to our MetaTrader 5 Python library and let's start figuring out how to do that. If you remember way back in one of the earliest episodes, we created the MT5 underscore lib file, and that's where we're going to place our cancel order function. Head to that file now and scroll right down to the bottom and start adding in the function. You can see there, define, cancel order. And all we need to pass to it is an order number. As with all of my functions in all of the code that I show, we're gonna add in some comments. Like I always say, whenever I'm doing these videos, doing so, these things like adding in the comments to your code makes your code so much easier to manage. And as you can probably tell, we're already up to 270 odd lines of code having these functions in there make it, makes it so much more straightforward to understand what you did, why you did it, and how to use this function in the future. Indeed, as you can imagine, once we start getting into sentiment analysis and some of the more advanced signals, all of which you'll get by subscribing to the channel, uh, having the ability to read your code and understand it becomes super important. All right, how do we go about canceling an order? Well, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to create a request object. And this is the object that gets passed from our function to MetaTrader 5 to execute what we want to do with our trade. Now, the trade action is a specific thing out of the MetaTrader 5 Python library, which is trade action remove. The order that we want to apply this to is the order number, as you probably guessed. And then I'm going to add in a, a little bit of an ability to add in a comment about what we're doing. So this can be really helpful when you're doing some back testing or having a look at some of your results to understand why that order was canceled. Then we want to use the try accept pattern. So that is the ability to handle any errors to pass the order to MetaTrader 5. Now in previous episodes, I really outlined for you all of the different er error codes uh, that you can get from MetaTrader 5 and how to interpret them. I won't go through them again here in this episode in order to keep it a little bit shorter and easier to do. The main thing to remember is that when you pass an order to MetaTrader 5 uh, or an order modification or an order cancellation, it's going to return a code to you. And that particular code will tell you whether or not it was excuse me, successful. And if it wasn't successful, the reason why. Uh, handling those errors can really add a lot of functionality to your trading bot because it can allow you to determine whether or not you want to attempt to do it again. Maybe it was some sort of market issue or maybe it's a breaking error with your code that you need to fix. Whatever it is, uh, understanding those error codes can be super helpful. Now, if you get the code 10009, 
that means that the order was cancelled successfully, in which case we want to return true. And we'll print a little message to the screen to let you know what has happened. If we get any other code in this particular instance, we're going to return that back to the user just to let them know what happened. Okay, and we'll return false. Okay, then we end it, excuse me, then we add in our exception handling. Now, for my particular piece of code that we're doing for this particular example, I'm choosing to simply make this a breaking change if we get an exception. By this point in time in the code where we've gone through all of our placing of orders and all the rest of it, Realistically, if we come up with an error, it's probably going to be a major concern and it's something I want to look into further. So I've chosen in this particular instance to just simply raise an error after printing it to the screen. You might choose to do something different and that's completely fine and up to you. Uh, this is just my way of demonstrating how it can be done. Once we know how to cancel an order, we need to be able to figure out what orders we'd like to cancel. Now, for this particular episode, we're going to go the very, very blunt approach, which is to just get all open orders and then cancel them. Remember, as I showed you earlier in the video, that an order becomes a position once it's executed. So in this case, we're only closing down the things that haven't yet been opened, i.e. we haven't actually traded on them. This is a really, really straightforward function. With, it requires no parameters and it's simply going to return a list of open orders. When we're talking about trades on MetaTrader 5, and indeed for many of the different broker programs that you ever might want to use, there's a couple of terms that it pays to be aware of. When I talk about an order, I'm referring to something that you have placed that hasn't yet executed. Maybe it's got a buy stop or a sell stop on it and it hasn't yet reached that entry price. That means that it is still an order, but it's not yet a position. And that's really important because if we manage our orders, we're not talking about selling stuff at a loss or a profit. We're simply talking about whether or not a trade has actually started. In contrast, if I talk about a position, I'm referring to a trade that has actually opened. That is, you've got real money or if you're paper trading, fake money, but you have money that has been applied to the market and it is going up and down depending on what's happening in the market. Therefore, if I talk about cancelling a position or modifying a position, what I'm actually talking about is changing something that is already in the market. Understanding those two terms can really keep you out of a lot of trouble and it forms a critical part of risk management when it comes to your MetaTrader 5 trading. Once we have our two functions of cancelling an order and retrieving all of our open orders, we now want to combine them together and we're going to do that in main.py. To do this, we're going to head back into our, our sort of main function and we're going to <clears throat> update our run strategy function with the information. Now, the reason that I've done this is because managing your orders and how long they stay open for and when you want to cancel them is kind of part of the strategy that you want to apply. For instance, a lot of people or a lot of the more advanced people that I deal with find that by keeping their orders open for differing lengths of times, they can drastically impact the amount of money they make for, <clears throat> in terms of profit from their trading. So it's a valid thing to say that it's part of the strategy. 
you can also argue that it's part of the risk management of your strategy. Every time you have an open position, it represents a risk to your trading balance. Of course, we all hope that it goes up and we make a profit, but there's no guarantee of that. And the best traders on the planet make sure they have very, very effective risk management. So for both of those reasons, I believe that it sits in with the strategy and that's where we're going to add it. It's really, really straightforward. First of all, we get a list of the orders that are currently open and then we go through and we cancel them. Like I said, this is an extremely blunt way of managing your orders, but it is valid if this is the only strategy that you want to run on your account. In the last episode of this series, I'm going to show you how to take your trading account to the next level. I'll show you how you can manage multiple strategies on the same MetaTrader 5 account. I'll see you there.